It is far better to be alone than to be in bad company. Happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. Be courteous to all, but intimate with few, and let those few be well tried, before you give them your confidence. The whole duty of men is summed up in obedience to God's will. You have only one way to convince others, listen to them. Leadership is not only having a vision, but also having the courage, the discipline, and the resources to get you there. Occupants of public offices love power and are prone to abuse it. When there is no vision, there is no hope. If the freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb, and silent we may be led, like sheep to the slaughter. In a free and republican government, you cannot restrain the voice of the multitude. Make sure you are doing what God wants you to do, then do it with all your strength. It is impossible to govern the world without God. It is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly implore His protection and favor. Truth will ultimately prevail where there is pains taken to bring it to light. The Constitution that we have is an excellent one if we can keep it where it is. Have the strength to be an honest person. We cannot guarantee success, we can strive to deserve it. Associate with men of good quality if you esteem your own reputation, for it is better to be alone than in bad company. History and experience prove that foreign influence is one of the most baneful foes of Republican government. Happiness depends more upon the internal frame of a person's own mind than on the externals in the world. Religion and morality are the essential pillars of civil society. Honesty is always the best policy. Worry is the interest paid by those who borrow trouble. The Constitution is the guide, which I never will abandon. Government is at best, a petulant servant, and at worst a tyrannical master. 99% of failures come from people who make excuses. Be Americans. Let there be no sectionalism, no North, South, East or West. You are all dependent on one another and should be one in union. In one word, be a nation. Be Americans and be true to yourselves. When only one side of a story is heard, and often repeated, the human mind becomes impressed with it insensibly. The marvel of all history is the patience with which men and women submit to burdens unnecessarily laid upon them by their governments. The power under the Constitution will always be in the people. To be prepared for war is one of the most effective means of preserving peace. Almighty God, we make our earnest prayer that Thou wilt keep the United States in Thy holy protection. Perseverance and spirit have done wonders in all ages. Observe good faith and justice toward all nations. 
Cultivate peace and harmony with all. It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. Liberty, when it begins to take root, is a plant of rapid growth. Firearms stand next in importance to the Constitution itself. Example, whether it be good or bad, has a powerful influence. Great people are not affected by each puff of wind that blows ill. Like great ships, they sail serenely on in a calm sea or a great tempest. What is most important of this grand experiment, the United States? Not the election of the first president, but the election of its second president. The peaceful transition of power is what will separate this country from every other country in the world. Give not advice without being asked, and when desired, do it briefly. It is much easier at all times to prevent an evil than to rectify mistakes. True friendship is a plant of slow growth and must undergo and withstand the shocks of adversity before it is entitled to the appellation. Thanks for watching. Which quote did you enjoy the most? Please share your opinion in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.